What's going on everybody? How are you doing today? My name is The Leaping Lemur and welcome back to another video. Before I start this video, if you could please like, comment, and subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated. I make a bunch of content on a lot of locales. If you wanna stay updated, make sure you click that subscribe button so you can see all the new videos that I post. Today, I have some crazy news involving a post I seen on the r slash Daniel Larson fan subreddit. Now I'm going to start this video off by saying I have no idea how legitimate this post is, but I want to entertain the idea of its authenticity just for the sake of entertainment purposes. I know it's probably just a troll, but I still find the idea behind this post so perplexing. The post is titled, I just took out $13,000 in payday loans under Daniel Larson's name, which is a wild title right out the gate. So I'm gonna start reading and we'll discuss it as we go along. The post reads, I just took out $13,000 in payday loans under Daniel's name. So his full name, birth date, the address he's registered as living at and his social security number is openly available on the sub. Out of interest, I pulled up his credit report and his score was okay. He had his checking account open for five years, which counts as credit history, and for some reason he's registered to vote at the homeless shelter, which caused an increase in the score. Obviously, he's never applied for any credit, so he's had no hard searches or missed payments. Now, I dislike Daniel as much as the next guy, but I find it creepy to look so deep into this guy, to go so far as to run a credit check on him, but then to go and post about your fraud for clicks is another level of buffoonery. Even if you didn't do this, the chances you got reported for this are 100%. It's not worth the joke. And if it is real, then you just snitched on yourself. So either way, it's just not worth the clout. The post continues. I did some digging and found this banking app called Chime, where you could open a checking account without having to submit an ID. I then opened a checking account in Daniel's name. I then went on every payday lender site I could find and applied for a $500 payday loan with Daniel's details and had the money deposited into this account. In total, I was approved for 26 loans, so the balance of the account was $13,000. I then opened a Binance account using Daniel's details and purchased Bitcoin using the money. I then created new Bitcoin wallets and cycled the Bitcoins through about five times. I then used Changely, which requires no KYC to convert the money to Litecoin, then converted it back to Bitcoin, then finally put it through a crypto casino before selling it and depositing the funds into my own bank account. I love how he mentions all these things he did as not to get caught, but then goes ahead and posts the shit on a subreddit. You might as well have fucking posted a video tutorial along with the fucking post. Like I said, I doubt any of this is real, but what's also fucky with me is the fact homie came back and started defending himself in the comments. We got this comment here where someone says, doubt this is real, payday loans require proof of income and 26 credit inquiries would trigger fraud alerts. He replies, they don't require proof of income. They ask your income and that's it. And most of them only run soft credit checks. Somebody comes with another rebuttal saying that's a lie. I've used payday loan sites and they all require you to upload one. Your pay stub within the last two weeks to a copy of your ID. I've also had one call my job to verify I'm an employee. The original poster then replies, some of them ask for your pay slips, some don't. I've never seen any of them ask for ID. The main security measure is that they will only send the funds to a bank account that's in your name. Someone also says, cycling the Bitcoin isn't going to do shit. Blockchain forensic tools will sniff you out. Will you get caught? Maybe. Will you get in actual trouble? Probably not. The original poster then replies, when you send it through Changely, it can't be tracked on the blockchain. The same guy then replies, I don't know how much confidence I have in Bitcoin mixers. Every couple of years, there's 1 billion plus Bitcoins bust due to ineffectiveness of corresponding tech. The original poster responds saying, they aren't going to investigate this. Stuff like this happens every day. They just write off the debt and move on. I honestly should have sent the money straight from the account in Daniel's name to my own account, and I'd probably have been fine. I only took all these extra steps as a precaution. But then why are you posting it on Reddit, you dumb fuck? 
He ends the post by stating, Throughout this whole process, I used a VPN and second SIM phone numbers. Daniel's life will never be negatively impacted by this debt. The only people who lose out are the payday loan companies. It could have been a farm rage bait, but either way, I found this whole interaction so fucking funny. The fact he posted this seemingly with the intention to come off smart and gain praise only for the aftermath to be the exact opposite is truly poetic. But let me know what y'all think about this in the comments. I just wanted to make this quick video because I found this post to be so fucking wild. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.